Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you where you can get the best light armour in the whole of Skyrim. I'm also going to show you the best dual wielded weapons in Skyrim. For this you are going to have to be level 36 to complete the quest to get these items. I'm wearing the items at the moment so have a good look at them. Right, without further ado, let's jump into it. For this you are going to need to read a book called Death Brand, because that's what the armor is called, it's called Death Brand armor. So there's plenty of places that you can get this, but for me, I come to this area, because I found it nice and easy. Come into this room in here. Great Hall. Once inside the Great Hall, we're going to follow around to your right, and on this bookshelf, there is going to be the book that you need, Death Brand. You're going to have to read this book. Remember to turn right on your D-pad, not left. Otherwise, you're going to sit here and look at the book like I did for a while. Once you've read this, then it should activate the quest that you need to get this armor. There's four pieces of armor in, the, in total in this. That search. And then it's going to bring you to here. In here, there's going to be a pirate captain and a couple of other people that you're going to have to kill. You can see I've sped this up for you so you don't have to watch it. Another little archer here, which he's going to get the finishing move on him. Right, once you've killed all them, you're going to go back over to the pirate captain. You're going to get the Death Band treasure map. Which has the book and a nice bit of gold. So the first item is actually in this location, but you are going to have to open this chest here. It's an expert chest. It is quite hard, but it's well worth it. As you can see, I haven't given the skeleton key back, which I recommend a lot of you doing. And there we go, the helmet. Water breathing plus 100 armor when wearing a complete set of Death Brand armor. It's a huge, huge boost. Right, for the second one, I'm going to leave the map open a bit longer, so if you want to pause the video here, you can see exactly where it is. Just like in this little circle of land with a little bit of waterfall in it, near White Ridge Barrow. So you will come up here during the Dragonborn quest line to kill a dragon. So. It's going to be here, there's going to be some mud crabs and some Rikulin warriors. And the chest is going to be located just here. Only an adept locked on this one. I'm just going to pick the lock. Eventually. And in here is going to be the gauntlets. So while dual wielding, your one-handed attacks do 10% more damage for each death brand item you wear. So if you've got the whole set, you're going to do 40% more damage, which is massive. Right, for the next piece, you're going to want to come to this area on the map. It's quite near Raven Rock. You can see I'll keep the map open a bit longer for you so you can pause it. And you're going to want to sort of come along the coastline from Raven Rock to find this. There's going to be a few uh, Reavers here. And there's quite a tough one here as well that you have to kill. And then there's going to be the chest here with all the spades. This is a depth as well. So you're just going to have to pick the lock. And inside this one is going to be the death brand armor. It increases your stamina by 15 points for each death brand item. So all four items, that's 60 more stamina. Everyone needs 60 more stamina. Right, for the last location, we're going to want to come over to here. Near Tel Mithrin, you would have visited this area if you completed the Dragonborn quests. You see, it's just Raven Rocks just there. And uh, there's going to be some Ash people here that you're going to have to kill. And then this chest is also an expert lock. So if you've only got a few lock picks, save before you do it. No problem for me, as I have the skeleton key. And this is going to be the final item of armor that you're going to you're going to need to complete the set. So increase your carrying capacity by 10 for each item. So you're going to get another 40, 40 uh, points in carrying. And there's also a key in here. So the key is going to lead you to the two swords. But you're going to need an ancient Nord pickaxe. So you get this fix it from uh, right. this mission from the uh, blacksmith in Raven no, no, Rock. No, this isn't just your He's going to talk you through pickaxe. the mission. About it's quite easy. You just have to go pickaxe. into uh, the mine, exactly speak to someone, get his axe, bring it back, and then he, he gives it. He gives it to you, so uh, I prefer once you completed that, because you are going to need that, because you're going to have to get through some uh, well, if you see Crescious, tell him to give cell me rim or whatever it's back, called. And you'll I'll see in a minute anyway, the trouble. and then I'll have to correct myself. There we go, so we've got the Ancient Nord pickaxe.
in we go to this place that I'm not going to uh, try and pronounce. I'm just going to show you it on the map. And in here, there's going to be two mines of Salrim. So you're going to just get this because it's worth getting because you can upgrade all your armor as well if you high enough in enchanting. There's going to be one on the left hand side, which you're going to have a drop in there. And then this one is going to open up into the next area that you need so you can go and get the two swords. There we go, just busted through here. And in this, once you've completed all this, you're going to just see all the gold and treasure that's here. I'm not going to make you watch all that. There we go, we've got the key, and you can see all the gold and chests that you can pick up here. I'm just going to speed this up because I, I like to, I looked around when I did all this. So once you've collected all of your gold and that, then you can progress on so we can get the, uh, the swords. And if you're wondering why we're in all the chests, uh, emeralds and diamonds and all stuff, that's because I did all the 24 stones of the unusual gems. I've got a video on that, so if you want to check that out to do that, I'll leave a link in the description for it. So once inside this cave, we're going to get our hands on the, the first of the dual wielding swords, just up here, and it's called Blood Cipher or something like that. I'm not sure really how to pronounce it. Collect the gold from this guy. There's also a nice big chest that you might want to loot while you're in here. Search the chest. Nice ebony bow in there, ruby, sapphires, but that's just because of the uh, unusual gems that I collected, all 24. And then when you're gonna have to kill this guy over here. So I'm just gonna speed it up for you. You hit him a few times, then he disappears, and then he sends waves and waves of enemies. I think it's two in total. Two waves of many enemies in total. And then he, he will come back, and then you can finally kill him. And he is gonna give you the other sword, which I think it's called Soul Rend. Right, he's back now, so we're just going to kill him. I get a nice finishing move on him as well. For some reason, it's like I slit his throat from the back. Didn't see him turn around, but hey ho. Once you killed him, it's going to complete the quest, and you can search his ghostly remains, and then you get Soul Render. So this does 15% magic damage, but it's got to be dual wielded with Blood Scythe. So we've got both of them now. I've tried these weapons out, and they are absolutely awesome. Really, really, really good. Definitely well worth it. I'd normally play with a shield and a sword, but now I've definitely switched over to these two. There we go, Blood Scythe does 15% health once uh, dual wielded with uh, Soul Rend. Right, that's going to wrap it up this video. If you found this helpful in any way, smash that like button for me and subscribe for more Skyrim tutorials. And I'll see you in the next video, and I'm out.